वेलकम फ्रेंड्स आई एम मोहम्मद ताहर अहमद your online instructor friend as you know that we are learning the creation of navigation bar so i have made this navigation bar in previous video and it is not yet completed so first of all i go back to my notepad plus plus and i show you something that uh, i gave the class navbar dash fix that top so to show you this thing this thing that is the fixed i will duplicate this br control s to save so now i go back to my chrome browser and i refresh the page so friend now you are watching this scroll bar and if i scroll it down then you see that this navigation bar does not move it remains where it has been stuck it does not move and it does not hide even when i scroll it down or scroll it up so this thing shows that it is a uh, totally fixed fixed top navigation bar so now i come back here and i scroll it up and in spite of brand i write here computer fever you can also place your own logo here but i just write computer fever so i refresh the page and now you are watching that computer fever has been written here so i come back and now once again i begin to do work from where where i left so i press enter and i make a ul tag and i close that tag down and i give a class to this ul nav space navbar dash nav i made li and inside the li tag i made anchor tag anchor harf is equal to double quotes and dummy sign hash i write here home and i duplicate it two time here i write about and i write register i will give a class to the first li class is equal to double quotes active i make one more li and close it down and i will give a class to this li class double quotes drop down and inside it i make an anchor tag harf is equal to dummy sign hash and give it a class is equal to double quotes drop down dash toggle data dash toggle is equal to double quotes drop down here i write drop down span tag i make and close it i give a class to this span caret
now I make a UL tag inside this li tag and under the closing angle tag and I give a class to this UL tag class is equal to double cars drop down dash menu now I make one more li tag and I make an anchor tag inside it anchor a harf is equal to double cars hatch sign action and I duplicate it three time more now I change the text I write here another another I write here another action or in spite of writing I write here services HTML here I write CSS3 PHP now I make one more ally and I give it a role separator and I give it a class divider and here in spite of PHP I will write logout so now I go to my Chrome browser and I refresh the page so friend you are watching that this kind of navigation bar has been made this is about this register and this is in spite of drop down I can write here services so services will be look more better so if I come here and I change it so here I write services and in spite of here services I will write PHP so now I come here and I refresh the page so now you are watching the services is written here and there is also drop down site drop down sign here when user will click over it he will find that this kind of services we are providing PHP HTML CSS3 and if anybody would like to log out you will click here you will also write anything else here so this is the register about um, friends now I will show you it is responsiveness so you are watching you watch that this is it is full screen preview so if I scroll it down you are watching these links are also going towards the left side and when I scroll it down more then you watch that this is the icon which is showing that there is icon inside it and if the, if the user click over it if I click over it then you can watch that this kind of navigation bar is showing and this is the services and in this way the user will read all everything so if I scroll it down more more and full now you can see that this navigation bar 
is completely responsive and completely um, very attractive and beautiful navigation bar which I have made with the assistance of Bootstrap very easily. So friend, this is therefore all the web developer use the Bootstrap for making their websites because it is easy and very attractive. So friend, now I tell you that uh, how this how can you make a navigation bar a default this is the actually not default this is the inverse navigation bar and now I will tell you that how can you make the bottom default navigation bar so I go to my notepad plus plus and I tell you one thing that you are watching this is the navbar dash inverse so now we will make and this is the navbar dash fix that top now we will make a default navigation bar which will be shown at the bottom of our page if you want to make a navigation bar at bottom it will be also responsive and it will be default so you can learn the both of navigation bar that how can you make the default and how can you make the inverse so now I come back to my notepad plus plus and I will tell you that I will copy I will copy the whole nav tag and I have copied it and I will paste it here so now I will change inverse to default and here top to bottom control s to save so now I will write chain 1 2 in spite of 1 here 2 I will chain 1 to 2 so now I go to my chrome browser and I refresh the page so friend now you are watching this is the bottom default navigation bar in the same way if I click on services so you can see that this is there are drop down of services and if I scroll it down there will be no difference in it it is sticky and fixed here and if I scroll it up it will not move and the same way top navigation will also not move and this is our logo you can also place your logo and you can also give a link on this logo and text so friend this home is active therefore it is showing and I, sh I show you to decrease its size that this navigation bar is also totally responsive now you can watch that if I click over it all this navigation bar will be showing if I click on services then you can watch the services and logo and everything so friend in this way you can make a navigation bar very easily with the assistance of bootstrap I hope you will have learned a lot from this these two lectures so friend I see you in next video to bring a new topic for you